this is Eloisa from Faith Dream Create and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Recycle Me project for Mother's Day and I will be using these lids. So the yellow one is from a milk carton and the other ones are from pop bottles. And so I'm going to go ahead and create some Mother's Day cards. So I grabbed out my Koi watercolors and I started drawing some flower petals. So I just held the pop bottle with my hand and drew around and then I will take it away and fill in the color of the petals and I'm just using a water brush pen here and yeah so this is going to give it a really 3d look you probably wouldn't want to mail this because it is very bulky you could but it won't be a flat card and it won't be easy to mail something to keep in mind this would also be a great kids project for mother's day as it's super simple and super easy and i know that my kids really like to do little recycling projects like this and they would think it's fun and then I um, went ahead and did the red one as well same method you could make the flower petals look however you wanted the red cap was from Dr. Pepper I believe you have to have fun and Look for different colors of bottle caps for this project or something similar. And then I went ahead and did the green one. And I believe this one was from a ginger ale bottle. So again, just creating my flower and filling it, filling in all the color. A fun different card for mom you could do this for any occasion that you wanted flowers though for just different and fun okay so moving on I'm going to use these spellbinder circle dies and I matched up these circles to the bottle caps and these actually worked perfectly so it was great and I grabbed out my Sizzix Sidekick little embossing machine and ran those through and then I'm going to insert these into the bottle caps to write a message to mom and I loved how they fit perfectly. This reminds me of a bottle of pop that has that little message inside, or sometimes when there's a prize to be given away in a pop bottle, sometimes they have like the secret codes inside or whatever. That reminded me of this, so I thought this would be fun. So I just went ahead and used a pen to write some messages. Mom, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. I think I said, Mom, you rock on the next one here. And you could also use little stamps if you had them on hand to get a more clear look, but I also liked just the handwriting, it gives it that per more personal touch. And then I just pulled out some foam dots, as you, whatever you want to call them, and I added a bunch of them until the paper was able to stick and not fall out and then I went ahead and cut out my flowers and then I was ready to adhere them to my card base so I'm using the advanced tape glider here then I'm adding more tape to the center of the card and then I will be matching up the lids to the corresponding colors 
and then just taking those koi watercolors again to add the stem of the flower. I kept these cards really simple, but you could add whatever you wanted and make it your own. But it's so simple and anybody could do this. Like I said, this would be a great kids project. And then I just um, dried that really quick so I could move on to my sentiment that I decided to add. So I used the Stampin' Up! sentiment here from, yeah, which is Happy Mother's Day. And then creating the yellow card. So this one already had Happy Mother's Day on it. So once that was adhered, I just went ahead and added the stem in with the koi watercolors and that finished off this card. Since I didn't need to add another sentiment there and there you just see the 3D effect with the lids. And then going ahead and working on the red one and adding my stem, of course, again. I really love how this looks. It's, it's simple, but it's so different. And then I will go ahead and stamp the Happy Mother's Day once again. And I am using the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp this. And that is going to finish off the cards for you today. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I upload next. Also, there is a link to my blog post in the description box below and links to all the supplies used in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.